Okay. A wire with a length of 1 meter is lengthened by uh, 0.6 millimeter when a load of uh, mass 20 kilogram is hung on it. If the diameter of the wire is uh, 2 millimeter, calculate uh, stress, strain, Young modulus, force constant of the wire. Okay. So uh, he wants the stress. Stress is sigma. And then strain is uh, epsilon. Young's modulus is uh, this y. And then force constant is k. Okay, so what is given in the questions? Give us the length already. And lengthened by. Uh, lengthened, that means this is extension uh, or elongation. Uh, this is elongation. Uh, be careful with the unit. Okay, it is in millimeter. So you have to change to. Uh, you have to change to. Uh, this have to change to meter. Okay, as a unit. Uh, and then we have a mass, okay, uh, a load of 20 kilogram. This is the mass, okay, hanging from it. Uh, so what I can say is, um, this wire has a, uh, you can say something like this. Um, yeah, uh, this wire, okay, uh, this wire, so there is a mass hanging from it. So it is, uh, this, uh, this is the mass, uh, 20 kilogram okay so uh, it has a weight yeah we can say it has a weight mg uh, okay so what we can say is uh, uh in the force in the wire uh the force in the wire will be equal to the weight uh the force in the wire will be equal to the weight uh, this the force in the wire is the tension yeah the tension is equal to the weight and so it is equal to mg ah so this mass can help us to find the tension in the wire, which is the force in the wire. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, also provide us the diameter of the wire. So this is the diameter. Uh, be careful with the unit also. Uh, millimeter, you have to change to uh, meter, SI unit. Okay. So now we want to find the stress. Okay. Let's find the stress. So question A. The stress is actually a uh, force over area. Okay, force over area. So this force is force inside the strip, force inside the wire. Yeah, this force is the force inside the wire. So what force uh, experienced by the wire? Uh, it is a tension. Yeah, the tension caused by the weight of the object hanging from it. Okay, so uh, this force, uh, uh, of course. Okay? So this force, of course, is the uh, tension in the wire. Okay, tension in the wire. Uh, so, uh, so we can substitute that with tension. So tension divided by area. Okay, so uh, area, uh, it given you the diameter of the wire. So you can find the area because the wire, and the wire actually is, uh, you know, Something like a cylinder. Uh, so uh, this is the what the the area. Okay, this is the area what we want to find. Okay, uh, so the area of course we use uh, pi r square because it's a circle, right? It's a circle, but it gives you the diameter. So diameter actually is uh, because radius is actually divide uh, diameter divided by two. So when you square the radius, when you square the radius, you will get uh, pi d square over four. Ah, you get pi d square over four. Yeah. So to find the diameter, uh, so to find the area. So we can uh, find first. We find out the area, then we substitute. Yeah. So uh, okay. A second. Okay. Let's continue. So um, this is a pi over 4. The diameter, okay, we substitute the, the value of the diameter. The diameter is 2 millimeter. So we have to change to meter as a unit. Uh, you must change to diameter, which is uh, milli is exponent negative 3. Uh, milli is exponent negative 3. So we change to meter already. Don't forget to square. Okay, so let's find out the value. Okay. So um, it is uh, three point one four 
uh, 1.6 uh, 3.1416 okay maintain four decimal place uh, in the end only we we correct to two decimal place okay so this uh, exponent negative six uh, we already changed to SI unit so this is in meter square okay so that's the area uh, and then the tension is uh, um, the weight uh, or mass time gravity so uh, the mass is uh, 20 kilogram and then the gravity is uh, 9.81 okay this tension is uh, mg yeah this tension is mg okay uh, and then divide by the area just now we got is 3.14 uh, 1 6 exponent uh, negative 6 ah so the answer we get is equal to um, uh, let's calculate again okay so um, this is uh, 6 point 6.25 exponent exponent okay 7 ah so uh pass uh this one is a uh, newton per meter square okay or you can uh the unit is pascal uh so you can either write the unit as newton per meter square because uh this the unit for force uh, is newton okay newton for uh, area is meter square uh, so it's that's why it's a uh, newton per meter square or pascal uh, so the unit this is like like pressure no like pressure so the unit is pascal so okay there are two units you can choose so it's uh, that's the answer that is the answer so is the answer correct okay 6.25 exponent 7 pascal yeah that's correct yeah that's correct now let's move on let's move on to strain yeah so what about strain uh, strain is actually uh, strain is actually elongation over original length uh, this elongation over original length it has no unit okay it has no unit okay the strain has no unit because why because uh, elongation is meter divided by the length original length is also meter uh, so they uh, uh, so you can see how their unit is being cancelled out so that's why the strain has no unit okay but for the stress is pascal uh, same unit with pressure okay so now uh, what's the elongation given elongation he said lengthen isn't it lengthen uh, that's the elongation uh, but it's in millimeter you have to change to meter si unit so elongation is uh, 0 0.6 uh, don't forget to change to uh, si unit exponent negative 3 okay meter uh, and then divided by the original length uh, original uh, this is the original length okay length one meter is the original length ah uh, so uh, one meter is already in si unit so no problem so uh so ah uh, so what's the answer uh, divide by one of course is uh 0 0.6 exponent negative three uh that's the and then we must change uh this 0 0.6 into bigger than one so uh, so uh, we go one step behind okay we go one step behind and we get uh we get uh six exponent negative four okay um yeah we go one step behind and then this one become ne exponent negative four uh, it has no unit uh, it has no unit uh, that's the strain okay that's the strain is that answer correct uh, uh six exponent uh, negative four that's correct uh, six exponent negative four that's correct so uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is uh, question C. Uh, question C asks about Young's modulus. Uh, Young's modulus is actually stress over strain. Uh, I mean, the stress divided by strain. Uh, stress divided by strain. So, okay, uh, that's the formula. Yeah, Young's modulus is stress over strain. 
Okay, so uh, it is equal to, so we have the stress here, 6.25, exponent uh, 7, okay, and divided by uh, the strain, 6 exponent, negative 4, okay, and then uh, the answer we get is, let's, let's find out the answer, okay, uh, that's the answer. Uh, so, okay, it is a 1.04, 1.04 exponent, 11, uh, what's a unit? Uh, it has the same unit as the, uh, you know, as the stress, because, because the strain has no unit, the strain has no unit, uh, so the unit of stress is Pascal, so of course the uh, Young's modulus also, Pascal, huh? the strain has no unit, so uh, the unit is Pascal or Newton per meter square. Yeah, so uh, that's the answer. So is the answer correct? 1.04 exponent 11 Pascal, that's correct. Okay, same unit as stress. Okay, so and then the last one, question D, you want to find a force constant, force constant K. So we know uh, force is equal to Ke. Uh, this one we know from Hooke's law, isn't it? We know this from Hooke's law. Uh, that's the force constant we want to find. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So we can find out the force constant K from this formula. F equal to Ke. Um, force, do we have the force? Force is the tension in the wire. Uh, it's the tension in the wire. Yeah. Tension in the wire. Do we have the elongation with us? Yes, we also have the elongation lengthened by 0 0.6 millimeter. So, uh, so we can find it. Yeah, so we can find it. The tension is uh, equal to the weight mg. Uh, so k, uh, k is equal to uh, actually at k is equal to f over e uh, f over e, which is a tension. Uh, f mg. Okay, and the weight. Yeah. Uh okay, uh no. Uh so uh the mass the mass is twenty kilogram. Twenty kilogram. So twenty times excuse me. Twenty times nine point eight one gravity. Elongation is uh elongation is six uh, zero point six millimeter. So change to SI unit zero point six 0 0.6 multiple uh, milli is milli is exponent negative 3 uh, exponent negative 3 uh, this one already in meter change to meter already all right uh, so that's the force constant k let's find out the answer um, okay what's the answer Ah, so the answer is a uh, 3.27 uh, exponent, exponent 5, exponent 5. Uh, the unit for force constant, just check the, the formula. K is a uh, force over elongation. Force is under Newton. Elongation is meter. Ah, so the unit for, the unit for force constant is Newton per meter. Ah, that's the answer. That's the K, force constant. So is the answer correct? Okay. Uh, force constant is uh, 3.27 exponent 5. Yeah, exponent 5. Newton per meter. Ah, you must get all the unit correct, yeah? Newton per meter. If your unit wrong, you also won't you will, you will also lost marks. Yeah, over here. Okay, Newton per meter. That's correct. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, so that's it.